Hey guys, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have seen how to set up Jenkins master and slave configuration. So this is our slave system. I have already logged into our slave or agent system. This is our agent system 82.5. Now I would like to run Maven based Java application on the Java node. For that one, we need a project which is available in my GitHub repository. We are going to use this project. But if we want to run Maven on our slave node, slave node should be installed with the maven right otherwise whenever we try to run it it is going to fail so first we'll run without installing maven and let's see what will happen then we are going to install maven and run it again for this i'm going to create a new item and uh, i'm going to name it as a maven demo project okay to run this one of course we need a maven plugin i hope you know how to install plugins and how to use maven if you are not aware much then you can check out my previous videos just now i kept it in the i button so it might be blinking right side corner on this video so select maven and ok scroll down so we need to restrict this project to run on our agent that is java agent so we can choose anyone any agent and uh, you can see here no agent could find because just remove the space so that it will re-identify that and you can see here this is the label and git and this is the git repo url i'm going to give this repo url in the description of this video please check it out then we are scrolling down and we are going to execute clean install our package anything would be fine we are just building it deployment is not part of this uh, demonstration save it we are trying to execute it on the slave system. So let's execute build now and we'll see what's the error we are going to see. You can see here it is executing. And let me open it. You can see here console output it is failed. It is saying that slash opt maven doesn't exist. Which means that it is trying to identify the maven but it is not exist. How does it know this path? Because while setting up our maven usually we will update manage Jenkins. Under Manage Jenkins, we are going to set up under Global Tool Configuration. Okay, here we are going to set up the our Maven path. You can see here Maven path. So I have set up the Jenkins Master Node Maven path. Anyway, we need to install the Maven in our agent system. We are going to maintain the same path. Okay, so for this one, I will just execute MVN command over here. Now you can see there is no Maven at all. So I have already downloaded Maven over here. We can install Maven in two ways. First thing is we can download it from the web URL that is Maven download if you give. It is going to give this path or else easiest way is m install Maven. Okay, but it will be installing little older version of the Maven. That is the reason I am not going to install it over here. I have downloaded the packages. Those packages I am going to extract it now. So to extract it tar minus xv zf and this apache maven it got extracted and you can see the file name but for better naming convention i am going to make a move of this one to maven okay so now cd maven pwd if you go this is the path right this path we are going to call it as a m2 underscore home path okay so this we need to set up in our bash underscore profile as well as in our Jenkins. So if you see the global tool configuration, the path of the Maven is same slash opt Maven. So even I have mentioned this in my documentation in the previous slide. So same thing you need to mention. So because this is part of the build server. So let it be because even we have installed on the same location. Now go back and uh, we need to set up the Maven underscore home and the Maven path in the bash underscore profile of the root home directory okay so for that i'm just going to home directory of our root user under that i'm looking for a bash underscore profile okay here we need to update so i'm just updating m2 underscore home this is slash opt maven similar way m2 path m2 path is slash opt maven slash bin okay this is the m2 path so these two we need to give in the path variable sorry so path variable dollar m2 underscore home colon dollar m2 
okay that's it save this file and to load this file we just need to execute a source command source bash underscore profile if we do that one we are loading it and echo dollar path if i give it is going to load it okay it is two time loaded that's okay opt maven has been set up now if i run the mvn command it should work the mvn minus minus version okay you can check out the version that is 3.8 all right i can say that our maven has been configured over here and the same thing is updated in the global tool configuration now let's build this job and we'll see so build now okay let me open this one you can see here it is building remotely on the java node and if we scroll down it is connecting to our agent system and it is executing and you can see the build path slash opt build workspace it is taking all right build is successful and if you see the work dir that is opt build nothing but in our okay it is generated some logs that's okay if i go to opt and if i look for the build workspace workspace here we should have the maven demo project all right this is how we can execute one last thing i just want to show you okay let's go to configure and uh, let me remove this restrict where this project can run apply and save and let's execute again let's see what will happen so it's failed why because what it is doing it is trying to look for this home path on our jenkins system okay run by the system on our jenkins master node in jenkins master node there is no maven that is the reason we need to make sure that the environment variable should be set up for the right path in case if we are referring to the master node in master node also under same location we need to install maven so that we don't end up these kind of issues okay thanks for watching in next video we are going to see how to build a docker file of the node.js application and commit it into a docker hub using a jenkins file we are going to use a jenkins declarative file to do that one even we can execute that on the agent system for that we are going to configure a new agent that's all for this lecture and if you like this video please give a thumbs up and if you are new to our channel please go and check out our previous lectures if you like it consider to subscribe our channel if you feel that these videos are helpful for your friends or colleagues request you to share with them thank you and see you in the next interesting video